Hello everyone and welcome back to Old Friends Dog Game! Where we are here for the Dungeons and Doggos special event, doing our best to try to go ahead and fulfill all of the little events, uh, all of the tasks to get those tickets, so that we can go ahead and celebrate with the freaking adorable special reward! Look at this! The Paladin Leo costume. We are so close to being able to get it. I have been working so hard behind the scenes since you guys last saw our puppers and we only need to have 14 more tickets in order to go ahead and get Leo's outfit and I have literally completed everything I can for today except for the one thing that would give us the last 12 tickets we need which is passing level 25 on the live streams and to pass level 25 we need to have a lot of hearts and to get more hearts so that the difficulty of the live streams become easier to do we need to unlock all of the stories that our puppers have all right, so let me tidy things up real quick. All right, we've got some paw prints to clean up. We've got some leaves to go ahead and clean up. Oh, and then you guys! Leo actually has hit one of his special events. I accidentally went ahead and already watched Leo's special event. We had a cute little picnic party with him and we made him a flower crown and it's so freaking cute. I love it. And speaking of flowers, we have finally picked up 20 poops. I am so freaking happy about that because it means we've got the special Camilla bush from Joshua. Hey there, I just dug up this Camilla shrub and I need to move it to put something else in my garden. I wondered if you wanted it for the sanctuary. Don't worry, I checked and it's safe for dogs. But first, make sure the yard is tidy. I don't want to be stepping on any poop when I bring it over. And we have done it. Thanks, Joshua. You can head on over. Our lawn is now totally poop free, I think. Yay! All right, so we completed that special uh, special event, which means we now have this beautiful Camilla shrub. Oh, that makes me so happy. And I have also been very, very busy building so many new... Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm putting that over here. What on earth even is this? This is so cute. <laughs> but I am going to put it right over here. Why not? It can go in front of our shed as like something I am going to be working with. Uh, should I put it to the side? You can't really see it then. Here, I'll put it right here. But I have been building so many cedar trees and so many like garden lamps in order to fulfill, like make a certain number of furniture tasks for our special quest. <gasps> Look! Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, a Camilla shrub. That, this is the Camilla shrub. <laughs> the other one is the pink dogwood I, I actually crafted. I remember that now. All right, so there's our Camilla shrub. Very, very happy about that. I've been making a million and one of these cedar trees. So we'll put one of those out as well. Uh, I forgot about our little, our little dog bed banana. Oh my gosh, I forgot we had all these cute things. <laughs> okay, here we even have the little monstera plant. I haven't been putting the new stuff out yet. <gasps> I forgot about Bagel's giant little bagel bed. Here, we'll put that one over here. Oh my word. Yeah, we've got a lot of cute stuff that I just kind of blanked out about. Um, and we also have like a couple rare beds. Here, we'll get this one, this nice little pillow. I mean, maybe we can put it over here. Wow, okay, yeah. Totally forgot about some of these cute things that we can put out. There we go. Oh, our little sanctuary is looking so adorable. I love it. But I did see Leo's special thing. We did get the cutest picture. Here's the dog blog picture of the little garden party with the adorable little flowers on Leo's head. Uh, and now, in order to get all of those hearts, it's finally time to catch up on all these other stories. But first, let me feed Bagel real quick, because we're working on this ridiculously huge challenge to feed Bagel 70 times. Like, I don't know why mom wants that but she wants that and then june wants leo fed with a basic biscuit so leo where did you go it's not his favorite thing so i don't know why june wants us to feed him a basic biscuit but i'm not going to question it and we're just going to do it all right there you go leo let's go ahead and give you a toy as well to get those hearts up and let's see how mac is doing it's been a long time since we've checked in on mac oh it's night it's a new evening and the night is still. There is still plenty of moonlight to reveal all the spooky nooks of the garden. Okay, Mac. Um, all right, I'm a little spooked. Let's go, Mac. Hurry and, oh my gosh, I guess you'd have to go out on a creepy night to let your dog out to go to the bathroom, actually. Mac is already snuffing up a storm. A gentle breeze rustles the leaves of the great oak tree. 
All right, so leave Mac to sniff out the culprit. Follow that dog. Okay, look, I'm gonna follow Mac. I don't wanna lose him. You tiptoe behind Mac as he leads the way. Oh, great, we're following him in the dark. This is fine. You start with the fence line in a, f a few usual spots. Anything there, Mac? You shuffle down the fence line. Oh no, mud! There's nothing but muddy patches, which, which Mac is happy to splash in. Oh boy, muddy paws. Mac wanders towards the shed. Cute. I bet he's like doing his job, making sure he's patrolling the territory. Can you smell anything, Mac? What? Something's crashing in the shed. Investigate. I should have screamed. That would have been fun. It's nothing but a fallen book. Ah, <sighs> let's call it a night, Mac. Well, Mac, I'm not sure we'll find anything tonight. Oh, and he's howling about it. Oh, he's yawning in agreement. That's so cute. There's something lurking in the shadows by the porch. Mac bolts over towards it. <gasps> it's a raccoon! The culprit has been found! It's a raccoon! Alright, that's kind of cute. He's still in our dog food. Not very, like, that's not good. You shouldn't feed wild raccoons, but still. The mischievous creature keeps munching on the leftover dog food. Um, we'll ask them politely yet firmly to leave place. Excuse me, would you mind leaving the premises? The raccoon bolts away before you can finish your sentence. Goodbye, raccoon! Well, Matt, case closed. It was just a little raccoon. All right, now we can sleep nice and tight, macaroni. Oh, that's so cute. I love the little stories. We've been waiting for ages to go ahead and unlock that little story. Dun -dun -dun! And now that we have, do we have a buildup of, okay, we have a tiny buildup of hearts. It looks like they they don't keep a million and a half hearts waiting for you. Uh, so now, which I was actually hoping about. So now let's go ahead and feed Mac a fancy treat or two. There we go. And then let's give him a fancy ball so that he's very happy and give him some pats. Because now we need all of those hearts in order to go ahead and be able to level up really quickly. All right, are you happy, Leo? I gave you, I'm sorry I have to give you the not great treats, but it's just the way that the, the cookie is crumbling right now. And speaking of crumbling cookies, Bagel, how you doing? Bagel looks very comfortable. He hasn't left his bed for quite some time now. Hey, Bagel, you want to go for a walk? I think the answer is no. Bagel doesn't seem to recognize the word walk. He stays where he is. Um, let's encourage him with our voice again. Bagel, want to go for a walk? <laughs> Bagel curls up and gets cozy in his bed. I mean, he's an old man. He can do what he wants. Seems like Bagel wants to stay in this afternoon. Um... Walkies, Bagel! Walkies! <laughs> Mac appears. He must have heard you say walk. He certainly knows what that word means. See, Bagel? Mac is excited, too! Bagel reluctantly flops out of bed. You open the door and encourage Mac and Bagel outside. The drizzle of rain doesn't bother Mac, who races off towards the fence. He loves going for walks. Oh, Bagel! He's like, I could have stayed in. I could be asleep right now. Uh, afraid of the rain, Bagel? Spots of rain land on Bagel's head. Oh, we'll go tomorrow, Bagel. Let's head back inside. <laughs> Poor Mac. He's like, but I was ready to go. Bagel plods back indoors, his damp fur making his bed wet. Oh, his comfy bed. No. You grab a towel and gently dab Bagel's fur, drying him off. Sorry about that, Bagel. You put Bagel in his jumper to keep him warm. He sits up, wagging his tail. His mood has improved. <laughs> we'll go for a walk when it's sunny, yeah? Okay, that seems to be what he wanted. I don't blame you, Bagel. I, I will make myself go on walks when it's cold and rainy and snowy like it is today in real life. But that doesn't mean that I enjoy it. I would much rather go for a walk like on the beach in Hawaii all the time instead. <laughs> all right, for now, let's go ahead and get you warm and dry. Bagel curls up, feeling cozy and calm in his jumper. No wonder Mom wants to... Oh, Mac. Mac walks up to you, fur wet and muddy. All right, time for a bath, Mac. Mac runs away with clear mischief on his mind. Better go and catch that dog. That's funny. Interesting, we didn't get a picture that time, but I guess you don't get a dog vlog picture, like, every time. Yay! All right, so Bagel should be happier now. There we go. Yeah, see, we had some, like, backed up, uh, 
old. There we go. We'll give him pets too. There you go. What? Pet bagel 40 times. Oh, that must be one of our new... Is that one of our new... What? Oh my gosh, look how cute! Oh, this is an adorable hat! Oh my gosh, finish great baking a great pup cake 20 times, and then look, we get this big... We get this pizza bed! I love that! Oh my word. Party macaroni. I found a flowery summer hat for Bagel. The weather has been so rainy recently. I want to remind him of warmer, sunnier days. It's a little torn, so I'll send it to you once it's done. While you wait, you should give him heaps of pats. Okay, that's adorable. I will definitely give him heaps of pats. Um, I'll clean those up too. All right, now we're starting to finally get like a lot of the hearts again and make some movement on how many hearts can contribute to the levels finally so that's a good thing i wonder if it's going to be good enough to help us to actually be able to go up to the next level so let's actually try that out real quick we're going to do some streaming and we're going to try even though it's going to be so hard level 23 because if we can get to 23 that's one closer and all of the hearts will then go towards 24 instead all right, we'll use the fanciest treat I have, which I think, is it this one or this one? I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this fancy thing right here. And this is going to make Mac and Bagel happy. Yeah, that'll make Mac and Bagel really super duper happy. And then we also have a fancy ball, but we don't have anything then that's going to make, unfortunately, Leo, wait, does Leo like, hang on, if Leo's gonna come with us, Leo, where'd you go? All right, I'm gathering every heart we can before we do this. All right, Leo, he likes chi red chicken donuts. And then Babs really loves uh, donuts that are blue and have salmon on them. So you know what, we're gonna come in and we're gonna make the most perfect donut. And we've got chicken and salmon, thankfully. Um, let's find out what colors we've got. So we've got blue. So we're gonna go for Babs. So we're gonna make Babs super happy. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some of our tickets because we're together and we gotta go fast. And then, ooh, new blueprints! <gasps> new plant blueprints! I didn't know you could click on that and find out what kind of blueprints you could unlock. Be still my heart. All right, and we'll use the fanciest of the toys that we've got available. Let's do this. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. Do our best. Okay, gotta give pats. Okay, give pats to Leo. Uh, give pats to Mac. Mac, take your pats. And then give toy, give pats to Leo. Give a toy. Okay, we want, Babs wants something. We'll give a pat to Leo. We don't have anything with honey. We'll give, a, let's see, the Babs. We'll give more food, we'll give pats. All right, Babs gets the things, yes. All right, and then, okay, feed it something blue. Give a toy, give pats, okay. All right, all right, all right. See, it's starting to get messy where it's like, who are we gonna pat? Okay, pat, toy, okay, pat. Oh, it was Bagel I was supposed to, Mac, for crying out loud. Why are you so hard to pat? Oh no, oh no, ah, how close were we? Oh, we weren't even that close. Okay, I'm just gonna have to admit defeat on that one. So I am gonna need to just work really hard on getting more hearts for a little while, I think. I have tried that stream so many times and just not gotten very far. So we're gonna do our best just to make the puppers super happy. And that means we've actually got time to go ahead and unlock one more story before we go today. Ron is wandering around the yard, barking wherever he goes. Does he ever get a sore voice from all that barking? Maybe he wants attention, or maybe he just needs to burn off some energy. A ball! You spot a lightly chewed ball near your foot and pick it up. Hey, Ron. Hey, Captain, wanna play fetch? Captain Ron doesn't respond. All right, we wave him over. Ron notices and wanders over, looking interested. Oh, now he's excited. Oh, there he goes again. All right, let's give it a gentle toss of the ball. The ball lands close by and Ron scampers after it. Good, good, good. He's an old boy. You don't want to throw it too hard. Captain Ron trots after it, taking it, uh, taking just a little longer to bring the ball back. Good boy, Ron. That was some excellent chasing and retrieving. Ron's tail wags faster. He's super excited and looks like he wants you to throw it again. 
All right, let's see if, will he let us take it? <laughs> he holds the ball firmly in his mouth. You reach for it, but he jerks away. I can't throw it if you're holding it. Ron doesn't look inclined to give you the ball back anytime soon. Okay, I guess I'll leave you to it then. That's adorable. As you head back to the porch, you notice that Ron's still following you. Are you going to drop the ball this time so I can throw it? Ron starts chewing the ball as he slumps on the porch. Well, as long as you're happy. <laughs> oh, adorable. All right, so now he's progressing. <gasps> Two more on Ron and we'll have a new poppers. Oh, you guys, I think we'll have a grand time. Oh my gosh, now there's just like chewed balls everywhere. That's adorable. Uh, all right, whoa. I got tossed all over the place there. All right, we'll give some more love on the dogs. And then I will just keep an eye on things. Okay, Ron's hungry now too. Ron, Captain Ron, I found out, likes honey flavored yellow pup cakes. And I think, sure enough, I have some honey flavored yellow pup cakes awaiting for him. And he also loves chewing on little duckies. So now he should start giving us more hearts as well. And then when we come back next time, guys, hopefully we will be at a point where we'll be able to go ahead and we will be able to uh, see if we can get to either the cool outfit for Leo or the next couple of levels. It's going to be really hard to level up, I think. That's going to be quite the challenge. All right, cleaned up all those paw prints. Got it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our wonderful poppers. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.